up guys? So we're here in the Valley of the Kings. My first time here. This is a part of Egypt that I haven't um, visited before. So you have a look around. It's quite busy today. It's the weekend. Uh, it's the day that all the cruises launch. Um, on cruise launch day, everyone pretty much does, does the same tour. So hence it's quite busy. You can see here is like a little bizarre thing on the left. Alright guys, so uh, we're in front of KV-8, which is one of the deepest tombs here in uh, Valley of the Kings. So uh, let's head in and have a look. Hopefully it's not going to be as hard on my legs as, uh, as the pyramids was. So let's go check it out. Very exciting. First tomb for me to enter. Uh, so as you can see, as soon as you come in, descriptions everywhere. I'm going to turn my camera around so that the seam of the 360 is uh, down the center of the corridor. Out of work. Look at this. It's literally all over the ceiling as well. And it gets pretty warm. Don't forget to look up. There is some paintings on top as well. Although I imagine from the humidity here that uh, the plaster has kind of fallen off. At least it's not as uh, as tight as going into the pyramids. Um, this is quite a big shaft. It's amazing. It's amazing to think that these paints are about. 1,500 years BC. Remembering that these tombs came after the pyramids in the middle of the New Kingdom. Wow, look at this. So what we're standing on here is an antechamber, guys. Uh, this is like a room that was designed to confuse two robbers, basically. Um, I'm gonna swing my camera down. If you look down as I'm doing it, you'll be able to see how deep this is. So that was to confuse people who were coming in here. And they would think that this was the actual tomb and they would dig down and find themselves nowhere. And, uh, there's a series of these antechambers which were purely there to uh, confuse the grave robbers. Wow, this is amazing. Look up, you'll see the uh, symbols of the stars. thing is why did the ancient Egyptians choose this particular location well because there's a huge pyramid shaped mountain just above us so the idea was to bury everyone under this huge natural pyramid rather than keep building them most importantly was to stop people stealing stuff
Facciamo la fine. So if you have a look at this ginormous sarcophagus here, it is absolutely huge. Now why would they make it so big and heavy? Again, security is to make things as difficult as possible for the grave robbers. Because moving this thing would have been a lot of work. Imagine being here in the early days when it was uh, not that old, pitch black, boiling, trying to move this thing. But somehow they did. Somehow they did manage to move them. size of the sarcophagus down below. I'll head down there in a minute. You can see it. Absolutely crazy. The effort, the effort never surprises me. Or should I say it never stops surprising me. I'm gonna send you up guys. Have a look at my uh, super long selfie stick. You might be able to see inside that sarcophagus there if you look down. Reconstructed, you can see with the white lines, that's not the original. Look at the paintings over there at the top, the god Ra. Super, thank you. Even in here, there's guys trying to take photos of you, obviously, not for free. Something small if you want to have a photo done, you know, it's not a problem. But I'm just letting you know, it's not free. And now we're on the other side of the tomb, guys. 